The sumptuous wonders of the natural world have been a constant source of inspiration for artists ever since humans first painted animals on the walls of caves. And our evolving relationship with nature can be clearly charted through more than 40,000 years of art history. We have depicted ourselves attacking nature, defending ourselves from its forces, competing with it, taming, changing and domesticating it, and are now at a unique moment. We are responsible for nature's very survival in all its diversity. The awe that we still feel faced with the grandeur and beauty of the natural world is the subject of this exhibition, seen from two very distinct and different perspectives. Nick Bibby and Steve Russell are passionate advocates for preserving and celebrating this essential support system in which we have evolved and are dependent on. We are now in a dynamic relationship with nature where our actions have a direct impact on the ecology of the various environments around the globe. Photographs and bronzes may seem puny agents for change on such a scale as is evidently needed, but all and every one of us need to do something and by sharing through the intimacy of art a feeling for and a connection to nature as is seldom directly experienced by most of us, they punch way above their weight. Both artists have proved their commitment over many years. Nick Bibby's incredible poignant sculptures commissioned for our Bones to Bronze exhibition in 2004 raised thousands of pounds for the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation whilst giving conceptual visibility to the void that is extinction. Steve Russell has contributed to the study of glacier retreat on the Runzori Mountains of East Africa with the Royal Geographical Society, as well as years of support to our rewilding project in Uganda. The images created by both Russell and Bibi are important as symbolic markers of our dichotomous relationship with nature. We're now both its destroyer and saviour, and in this Janus-like position, we could end up either. Through art, we can project an instinctive or intellectual emphasis, a sensual or a cerebral one. I hope that the skill and craftsmanship involved in creating these images are a reminder that life in a world devoid of the inherent beauty and variety of the environments that shaped us and our abilities would totally deny us the means to express ourselves. We are a part of nature and no amount of technology will ever be able to fulfill this role. The photographs and bronzes in this exhibition are unabashedly beautiful. They delight and celebrate as they not only explore the common subject matter, but they also revel in the sensual and imaginative sharing of that beauty.